Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got a really, what I assume is gonna be a really special uh, unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, this package was sent by Tom, and Tom is somebody that I have very much enjoyed interacting with for a very long time here on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much, Tom. I can't wait to find out what's in here. I have absolutely no idea. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down in the description. Uh, so check that out if you'd like to. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, uh, this is a big box. I'm zoomed out pretty, like I'm going to show you guys, like the... You know, the table's quite a ways away, right? So I'm zoomed out really far. I'm gonna cut into this and then I'm gonna turn this box so that you guys can actually see, whoops, what is going on. Just give me one moment here and I'll cut into the sides. There's uh, there's private information on different sides of this box, which is why I'm not turning it and why you're having to watch me cut into this at this angle here. <laughs> okay, now. Give me a sec here, let me rid my fingers of the adhesive. And just a moment, there we go, my goodness. Okay, now we're gonna move these back, bend them over, oh my gosh, yes. So we do have, buckle up folks. <laughs> this is, we've got quite a few things to unbox here, oh my gosh. I'm a, you guys are probably seeing this, I have no idea what this is. You guys are probably seeing this on Christmas Eve, which would be ideal, right? To be That's probably when I'll have this uploaded. Okay, and we, of course, have a letter. We have to read that. And I know you guys are itching to see what's in there. Oh, how nice, how nice. Uh, it's a, here's the, the front. It says, I'm just so glad you exist. Well, thank you. I, I'm glad that you exist as well. Um, so we, it says... Uh, <laughs> Awesome. Uh, let's see here. It says, Merry Christmas. Of all that you do, so I designed uh, I designed to give you and your family some gifts again this year. Plus, I added a giveaway knife. Thank you. That's so, you don't, you guys don't have to do this. Tom, so nice of you. You don't have to do this. I always tell people, like, you don't feel obligated. If you don't know, 99.9% .9 of the content on this channel uh, is uh, you, you guys create it, you guys send me stuff for me to review, and then I send it back. A lot of people think that I keep this stuff. It's only periodically people like Tom will say, just keep it. Uh, that's really nice, but that's never, you know, never something that I tell people they have to do. Um, but uh, it's, it's always, of course, it's always a wonderful surprise when people like Tom do stuff like this. So thank you so much. Um, anyways, added a giveaway knife. Hope you and your uh, viewers enjoy. Thank you for your YouTube channel. A good source of entertainment. I uh, keep doing what we're doing, and, and it says Tom. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, very very nice. So <laughs> I want to check this out. This is the first. I think probably we need to keep using the um, unboxing tool for this. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. <laughs> it looks like some type of. Looks like some type of aerosol can. Yeah, probably should make sure that I'm not cutting into that. <laughs> there we go. What do we have here? Ah, use in case of fire, mini fire. This is actually pretty, um, pretty great uh, because down here in the dungeon, I don't have anything like this. And while I've taken precautions to make sure that, you know, nothing bad ever happens down here, this is still a nice thing. Um, to keep down here, uh, you know, w with me at all times. So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's do this one. This one. I think for the rest of these, maybe I should just tear into them. Okay. So we definitely we have. Oh, the black, the cold steel black fly. Okay, very cool. I've never heard of that. Um, but uh, definitely interesting. It looks like a long. I'm gonna guess this is probably a self defense item. I'll try to link a lot of this stuff, if it is available, um, down in the description. Perfect points. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Should I cut open? Now the other side's already open, and so is this side. So let me get into it. Are these throwing knives? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. I will 100... Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, I will use these for sure. Here's, the, here's what I love about throwing knives. 
Um, they don't have to be anything. I mean, some people will say, oh, they need to be like special. But like if I'm just going to go out and throw, you know, knives into a, a log or a target or something like that, I don't really um, have any commands other than they're relatively well balanced and sharp enough to basically, you know, stick into a target. So that's pretty, I will definitely have fun with these. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> that's awesome. I haven't thrown, I haven't done anything with throwing knives for so long. So that's really, really cool. Uh, next one up here, what do we have? Oh boy. What? Become a knight or a dame. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, I've, I've gone through everything that was in there. Congratulations, you are the recipient, uh, recipient, <laughs> recipient of a Become a Knight or Dame gift box. This gift enables you to become a Knight of Alkenbury and to use the title Sir or Dame of Alkenbury. So I don't think that that's a real place, but the idea, the idea of this is actually really is cool. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do this. So I have to register this, but I'll be, I guess, once I'm finished doing this, Sir Metal Complex of Alkenbury, which, you know, I, I, I'm going to lean on the side of that of cool factor with that. <laughs> I think that's really awesome. What a thoughtful gift. Okay, more information on that to come, I'm sure, in the future. Very cool. <laughs> I didn't know that stuff like that even existed, so that's awesome. All right, so what do we have here? Another one. Let's open this up. And, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Mass Drop Duhara Kabuto. All right, let's open her up here. Oh, that's about took my fingernail off there. There we go. I don't remember. I'm well familiar with, uh, very familiar with Matt. Oh my goodness. What on earth? What? Is it a button lock? Ooh, okay. All right. This is, um, this is very, very different. I'm, I'm curious about the thumb studs here. How does how do the thumb studs work if you don't break the detent to deploy it? Do you break? Do you push down here and then maybe deploy with your thumb? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Uh, S35VN. We have G to look at all this. Look how this all comes together. This is really interesting. Mass drop. All right. Well, in any case. I definitely like the button lock factor. That's really cool. And then it also, ooh. See, I don't, I wonder, does it, how does that work? You push this first and then you push it down and then you front fly. I, I don't know. I'm obviously missing something with this. Is there a, another button or something? I don't know. Well, in any case, it definitely is interesting and very, very different. I've not seen anything like this. None of this is a review, guys. I've never actually handled any of this stuff, so I, I don't know. I'm definitely going to do some more research on the Kabuto, though. In any case, thank you very much for that. Very nice. Moving on here, we have another another box. Notes. I'm, always, I'm looking for notes and things, just in case there's additional information that I am, you know, meant to... Oh. <laughs> Sour... Sour pickle balls. Oh my god. <laughs> if you watch my live stream, you probably under you probably know the um the inside joke there. Oh no way, are you serious? <laughs> Pokemon cards. Alright, I'll no I mean I'll definitely if you don't know, I grew up with Pokemon, so I mean packs of packs of Pokemon cards, no matter what they are. I haven't the last time I opened a pack of Pokemon cards. I was legitimately 13 or 14 years old. So the nostalgia factor there is unbelievable. Thank you very much. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Is this like a classic? Yeah, I think so. Let me, uh, <laughs> classic switchblade, swivel guard switchblade comb. That's so cool. Oh, okay, I see how that works. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's got the lock and everything. That's very nice. Very cool. Um, what do we have here? Throwing cards. Throwing cards. I didn't know. Oh, wait. Is this like a target? Yeah, okay. Throwing cards. All right. So I've never, I've never once thrown a card before. Never done that. 
Um, but here's a great opportunity to learn. So fantastic. Very cool. I did not – the are these – is the little slots, are these for, like for aerodynamics? So you must – it's like showing which way you're supposed to throw them. It's so like this. Well, it would be like this. I don't know. We're going to find out, definitely. We have here a little CRKT box. Within that box, we have something bladed. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Look at that. It's a uh, very skinny little fixed blade. Oh, boy. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, what do we have here? Eh, Schwartz design. No mention of what the blade steel is. I'm almost unconcerned with what the blade steel is because, you know, given the nature of something like this, right? Um, but I'll try and figure out exactly what this is. I think, let's see. Uh, the scribe. Okay, so the CRKT scribe is what this is called. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously with it being a fixed blade, it doesn't fold. You're going to need something, a sheath to cover up the blade, but we have a nice little flat ground blade, just a fixed blade that's probably not meant for much more than just, you know, like opening packages or something simple like that, but that's really cool. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. Never, I've never seen that. I did not know that it even existed. Very nice. Oh, awesome. Okay. So this is cool because I had always wanted to pick one of these up for my son. Uh, C28 Dragonfly Wooden Knife Kit. So I think this is kind of like a build-your-own um, Dragonfly kit. Let me, uh, let me get into this real quick so that you guys can see. Okay. <laughs> I've almost purchased this so many times. Yeah, all the pieces to a Spyderco Dragonfly and then the in instructions. I'll link this down in the description. You can definitely – these are not expensive. Um, but then you can build like a little wooden – Dragonfly, which is, I think is really cool. I, I think that kind of stuff is cool. So I appreciate that. Very nice. And then we have uh, something from NAFS. <laughs> Let's open this up. It looks like, is it a little wooden? Oh, I see. Okay, I see, I see. This is a hint on me. You know, people have been telling me you got to stop using that um, wooden. Uh... Oh, wait. And then it's also... Yeah, okay, how to find an angle. So you can check the angle of your knife blades. Very cool, okay. Oh, perfect. That's super useful. Ah, that's that's wonderfully useful. Um, so we have the ruler, of course, centimeters and inches, and then you have um, sort of an angle finder or like an apex. It, well, not an apex, but like the angle of the apex or the, I'm sorry, the, the, the cutting bevel on both sides. Very nice. Very, very thoughtful. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yes. And the final. I saved one for last because it's... <laughs> I'm going to guess the knife you want me to give away is the Mastrop Kabuto. I'm going to guess. I don't know. But that's... I'm still trying to figure out if there's like an auto... Like if it's... Well, it can't be because there's no detail. I don't know. I'm going to have to play with that. This last one here feels very... <laughs> Oh, holy cow. Uh, what, wait a second. Is this the cold steel? Oh, my gosh. No way. No way. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, this is the matching. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Man, that is awesome. So, this matches... I think, I think this is the cold steel, um, hang on, I'm, I'm al almost 100% certain that this is the cold steel, um, dagger, uh, that matches my, uh, my sword, um, I've got the, in fact, here, I'll just grab it real quick, I have the sword that matches that exact same style, and the, the reason I'm assuming, I have looked at that so many times, just thinking like, that'd be cool, I kind of want that, but I have the sword here. Um, and then this is the, it, I mean, it's made in the same style, just has a different cross guard and a different pommel, but I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. If not, either way, it does match and yeah, it's, it's sharp and it feels like it feels very similar to the cold steel uh, version, but this is so cool. Like I said, I've looked at this many, many times, just as 
<laughs> I'm not really into the medieval stuff. I'm not into like the whole like, you know, um, like correct stuff. Cause obviously this is made, this isn't a utility fixed blade, right? There's, there's a single purpose for this, right? This, uh, it was uh, period accurate or semi period accurate sort of combat catalyst, right? So people who are really into this, they will use stuff like this to sort of simulate or sometimes they actually do competitive, like, I don't really know how, well, obviously I'm not a part of this world, but where they do the actual, like they use unsharpened, but authentic or period accurate weapons to have like competitions and stuff. I'm not really into that. I just think this is cool. Like I'm the, the simplest level, right? Um, so yeah, this is awesome. Uh, the, I believe that's made by Cold Steel. I'll link that down in the description if I can, but very, very nice. I would imagine it's just as high quality as the sword. Um, the leather, uh, the sheath feels exactly the same as the one that my um, sword comes with. So this is awesome. Tom, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm beside myself here. This is just wonderful. Um, I He said that one of these was meant for a giveaway. Let me know exactly which one you want me to give away and I will make sure that that happens. Um, and I'll let you guys know, everybody else who's watching, when that day uh, will come. It'll probably be on a live stream. So if you're not familiar with my live streams, they are usually Fridays or Saturdays, uh, anywhere from seven to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I'll make sure and update people on my community tab and on Instagram exactly when that's going to take place. Wow, extremely generous and so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Tom. Uh, for sending all this awesome stuff in. I'll make sure that it all goes to good use. Really appreciate that. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's unboxing. Um, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. If you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex. They'll go right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.